This is Friendly Set. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, that was random. Showing you guys my germaphobe time of my life. <laughs> Hope you guys are keeping safe. So, this video is going to be about me meeting the Napoleon Dynamite crew. They are celebrities, they're famous, they are amazing, they are icons. So let's get into it, let's talk about the details, uh, wh how it all played out, and the aftermath. So let's get started. Meeting the Napoleon Dynamite crew amazing so it was held at an event and I woke up so happy it was like the easiest morning to wake up to I was ecstatic and it was like a dream come true it felt like a dream the whole time it was such a blessing I am so blessed and thankful for my mom. Oh, sorry, this again. <laughs> I'm so blessed and thankful for my mom. She's the one who invited me. So thank you, mom. Hi, mom. And I'm thankful for DMAC. That is where the event took place. Uh, it's a college in my city, which is Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm thankful for the Napoleon Dynamite crew, which is Napoleon Dynamite himself. He is John Heder and Pedro, which is Efren Ramirez, and John Grias, which is Uncle Rico. It was so cool. I got to the event and I remember like almost shaking that I was because I was so excited. I I saw one of my friends there, Atticus. Hey Atticus. And if you ever watches this, <laughs> it was we sat together at the front of the audience while Napoleon Dynamite, the Napoleon Dynamite crew took in, like, they had an interview, questions back and forth, and they would answer, and it was so pleasant. They're very relatable and likable, so, yes, we sat there, and we listened to the whole uh, questions and answers, and I totally enjoyed every second of it hearing about them and Napoleon Dynamite even danced his dance routine kind of from the Napoleon Dynamite movie. One of my favorite scenes from the Napoleon Dynamite movie is the Tina part with the llama. It's hilarious. My brother likes that part. And my boyfriend also does too. Um, also, I I personally like the the part where Napoleon says, "I like your sleeves. They're real big." <laughs> but they were kind of kind of somewhat like the movie Napoleon Dynamite. Which I didn't think. I thought they were going to be completely different people. Like, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. When it was time to go get a signature from them and a photo, I was almost in panic mode. <laughs> so nervous. And, well, I got there and I had a poster that my mom wanted. 
for them to sign. And so I got that. Each of them signed it. And it, it was a surreal moment because, I don't know, I, it was, I was at a loss for words, to be honest. I didn't even know, I didn't, it was, it was amazing. Uh, it was, I'll just show you a video clip here. And I will show you some pictures too. Ready, so oh, all you just push Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm whatever. I'm so like. Yeah, I, um, I, I respect you. Guys. I guess. Yes. Um, Listen, over here. Like, uh, you can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> They're amazing. Hey, Brenda. Yes, yeah. you guys are amazing. It's Brenda. It's Brenda. <laughs> I just <laughs> Brenda. 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 You guys are amazing. Like weeks later, I saw that the video that of their questions and answers was posted. And I was so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in the video. And I was ecstatic. I felt like the, the Monsters, Inc. Mike on that movie where he's like, oh my God, I'm in the movie. It's the, I'll show you. He is so shocked. He's so amazed. That's how I felt. Even though it's, yes, in the back of my head. I would say I was very emotional and happy. Like, I was going through a tough time, feeling kind of down. And this event completely lifted my mood. I am so... It's indescribable. I'm excited to see what happens next in my future with the roles that are going to come that are going to, I'm going to be doing next. Well, I know you guys were paid a lot initially for that movie, but you did get to parlay it into this sweet Super Bowl commercial. Whoa, are those cheesy tots? Yeah. Are they good? Yeah. Can I have one? Sure. This is what selling out looks like, you guys. <laughs> Notice how the jacket looks like a big giant toss. That's the beauty of costume designing, you guys. <laughs> you don't even know, but it's all just up here. It's very subliminal. Eat this giant toss. John Grice, Uncle Rico. <laughs> yes. Your turn now. Yeah, you were younger than both these guys, right? When you shot the ball. I was old enough to know better and young enough not to care. <laughs> okay, so I'm so ecstatic. After the the whole event, I was thrilled. I ended up going to visit my cousin because she just had a newborn baby at the hospital. And I was just so happy to tell her about it and I knew at the time it was around the coronavirus was just starting kind of in Iowa and I was so happy all smiles and then I started realizing the gravity of the situation because my cousin she just had a newborn baby and she was like telling me a little, filling me in on the, the details of the coronavirus, the COVID-19, and my mood completely. I started thinking a lot, and I was so thankful that I went to this event, and I was so pleased that they were uplifting and lighthearted about the situation even though it was I realized after the event that it was very 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 serious and it has been serious and I'm hoping that 
everybody safe and even the Napoleon Dynamite crew. I I can't put it into words how happy I am. So afterwards, this is crazy to me. All of it was crazy, actually. So afterwards, uh, Pedro, in front of Ramirez, he actually started following me on Instagram, liked my picture, and I was so ecstatic. I will put his his Instagram here. His Instagram is the real dot Efren Ramirez, and I could not believe it. I was so shocked, and then I got a message from him. I was ecstatic. I was felt like I was floating, <laughs> and then. A couple weeks later, John Grias also liked my picture on Instagram. Yeah. Thank you for... <laughs> okay. Did you watch your hands? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I'm very used to your routine. Okay. I just want to get it done. <laughs> yes. So, my boyfriend got out of work and greeted him and <laughs> I just want to say thank you for viewing my video and I hope that you subscribe and thank you to those who have subscribed to me. I'm so thankful. Peace. Thank you.